what the devil Satanism is not devil worship. That comes as a shock to many who haven't explored our philosophy, and it is the prime misconception outsiders have regarding the Church of Satan. Our founder, Anton Zandor LeVay, asserted this stance from the beginning. Over the years, individuals with the need to feel embraced by a deity have claimed that Dr. LeVay somehow came to believe in a literal Satan. If we examine his work, it is clear that he never changed his mind about this, nor was belief in the devil ever some secret inner circle practice of the Church of Satan. We Satanists understand that both truth and fantasy are needed by the human animal. It is a step towards wisdom when one knows with certainty which is which. Man relies on symbolism and metaphor when building a personal conceptual framework for understanding the universe in which he lives. He has always invented his own gods, using his carnal brain. From the Satanic Bible, man has always created his gods, rather than his gods creating him. However, this act of creation is usually denied. History shows that the founders of religions claimed personal contact with the deity fabricated through their imaginations, fabricated through their imaginations. And legions of followers bolstered that fiction. There is nothing wrong with fantasy, as long as an individual knows he is using this controlled self-delusion as a tool for dealing with existence. For we skeptical, pragmatic Satanists, it is wielded in the ritual chamber. Reliance on fantastic constructs becomes dangerous when the believers in spiritual religions dogmatic dogmatically insist that their personal or collective fantasies are real in the world at large, that they are the only absolute truth, and then wait for the myth to guide them or try to force others to share this delusion. That has been the source for countless wars, as any student of history can see. Dr. LeVay's seminal book, The Satanic Bible, published in 1969, lays out some basic principles. The Satanist realizes that man and the action and reaction of the universe is responsible for everything, and doesn't mislead himself into thinking that someone cares. Is it not more sensible to worship a god that he himself has created, in accordance with his own emotional needs, one that, one that best represents the very carnal and physical being that has the idea power to invent a god in the first place? From a 1986 interview with Walter Harrington of the Washington Post, Satan is a symbol, nothing more. LeVay says. Satan signifies our love of the worldly and our rejection of the pallid, ineffectual image of Christ on the cross. Accepting the axiomatic premise that no gods exist as independent supernatural entities means that Satanists are de facto atheists. We know that the objective universe is indifferent to us. Since our philosophy is self-centered, each Satanist sees himself as the most important person in his life. Each individual thus generates his own hierarchy of values and judges everything based on his own standards. Therefore, we Satanists appoint ourselves as the gods in our subjective universe. That doesn't mean we think we have the powers of a mythological deity but it does mean that we revere the creative capacity in our species. So to distinguish ourselves from the atheists who simply reject God as a non-existent, we call ourselves 
I theists with our own healthy ego as the center of our perspective. This is truly a blasphemous concept that flies in the face of just about every other religion, and it is why Satan serves us well as a symbol. And it is why Satan serves us well as a symbol. He was described as the prideful one, as the prideful one, refusing to bow, refusing to bow to Jehovah. He is the one who questions authority, the one who questions authority, seeking liberty beyond the stultifying realm of heaven. He is the figure championed by the likes of Mark Twain, Milton, and Byron as the independent critic who heroically stands on his own. Dr. LeVay made his most detailed presentation of his concept for how Satan functions in his philosophy in the following monologue that appeared in Jack Fritcher's book, Popular Witchcraft, published in 1973. I don't feel that raising the devil in an anthropomorphic sense is quite as feasible as theologians or metaphysicians would like to think. I have felt his presence but only as an exteriorized extension of my own potential, as an alter ego or evolved concept that I have been able to exteriorize. With a full awareness, I can communicate with this semblance, this creature, this demon, this personification that I see in the eyes of the symbol of Satan, the goat of Mendes. As I commune with it, before the altar. None of these is anything more than a mirror image of that potential I perceive in myself. And I perceive in myself. I have this awareness that the objectification is in accord with my own ego. I'm not deluding myself that I'm calling something that is disassociated, disassociated, or exteriorized from myself, the Godhead. This force is not a controlling factor that I have no control over. The satanic principle is that man willfully controls his destiny. If he doesn't, then some other man, a lot smarter than he is, will. Satan is, therefore, an extension of one's psyche or volitional, volitional essence, so that the extension can sometimes converse and give directives to the self in a way that thinking of the self as a single unit cannot. In, th in this way, it does help to depict in an externalized way the devil per se. The purpose is to have something of an idolatrous, objective nature to commune with. However, man has connection, connection, contact, contact, control. This notion of an exteriorized God Satan is not new. The approach outlined here of consciously creating an exteriorization of the self with which one communes solely in ritual is a revolutionary religious concept of LeVay's Satanism, and it is a third side approach which proves elusive to many whom it does not come naturally, naturally. It is a psychological sleight of mind, not a form of faith. It establishes that to the Satanist in ritual, he is Satan. To be fair, people attending workings of LeVay's bombastic and theatrical rites might not be able to separate the shouting of Hail Satan! Hail Satan! while in the ritual chamber with the disbelief in any external gods outside of the chamber. But then, Satanism isn't meant for everybody. When asked if there is an upcoming volume, Satanism for Dummies, we reply, Satanism is not intended for dummies. As he said in the Satanic Bible, and often in interviews, Satanism demands study, not worship. Study, not worship. Study, not worship.
The capacity to think is expected of Satanists. So LeVay expected those who embraced this philosophy to understand where to draw the line between the fantastic and the real. He proclaimed that he was a showman and felt that his Satanists would not be rubes, mistaking the mummery for reality. As a carny, he knew how to entertain, to draw attention so that he could then present more serious ideas. Some might sneer at his methodology, dismissing his deeper cogitations because of the circus-like elements. However, I believe a case can be made that all religions are in the show business. The Church of Satan is the only one honest enough to admit it. In an interview released in an LP called The Occult Explosion from 1973, Dr. LeVay explained how the Church of Satan deals with different concepts of Satan. Satan is to us a symbol rather than an anthropomorphic being. Although many members of the Church of Satan who are mystically inclined would prefer to think of Satan in a very real anthropomorphic way. Of course, we do not discourage this, because we realize that to many individuals, a picture, a well-wrought picture of their mentor or their tutelary divinity is very important for them to conceptualize ritualistically. However, Satan symbolically is the teacher, the informer of the wise and the wherefores of the world, and in answer to those who would label us devil worshippers, or be very quick to assume us to be Satan worshippers, I must say that Satan demands study, not worship, in its truest symbology.